Hello. Um, Amy should be in hopefully in a minute, but she wasn't able to hear me. So hopefully, I think she's rebooting, and I'm hoping that it will work then. Well, let me get my chat out. Hi, Gary. And hi, Jean. And Barbo. Send me the link again. Okay. Okie dokie. I'm sending it to you via Hangouts. All right, well, anyway, I'm going to start off with finishing up oh, my, you can hear me? Good. Yep. All right, let me click on me. And I can hear you. Woo. Awesome. I love when things come together. <laughs> All right, where did my chat go? I thought I, did I not even pop it out? What is wrong with me? Um, I really yeah, don't know. answer that. <laughs> Do not answer that. There we go. Hi, Janie. Oh, Running around the yard catching the coffee dyed papers. <laughs> oh, no. What did you do, Janie? Oh, that sucks. Hi, Gary, and hi, Barbara. Let me guess, you left them outside to dry, and it started to get a little windy? Yep. A.T. right, Gary? I love it when a plan comes together. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Gary, do you prefer the original TV series A.T., or do you prefer the new one with Liam Neeson as... Today. Oh my god, that's no, he's gonna say the older ones, of course. <laughs> Let's play. How well do I know, know Gary? No, <laughs> that's not just, just kidding. Yeah, I was gonna finish what makes me to mash up, but I started this flower. It's a mini itty bitty version of that big blue rose I did. It's similar to the red one also. I don't know if you, um, I know whoever watched this morning knows this, but earlier today I, um, started making some paper flowers just because making flowers has always been fun for me. And, and I figured that, um, they're, you know, they're pretty simple to do until you get into the really, um, some of them are very, very, very complex, and I can't figure them out either, so. Well, the whole point is to find stuff that helps relax you. Right, right. Hold on a second, ladies. I just need to mute so I can... Okay. She needs to mute a second. 
We made flowers, and then, <laughs> and then I went grocery shopping. Yes. And then at the grocery store, I saw someone I knew, but we both pretended that the other one wasn't there. Yeah, Which was kind of weird. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> Any crabs? Oh. No, I didn't. That's kind of a left field question. Well, I remember we were talking about oh, cutting see. crab legs. No, I don't know what you're talking about. He called me a, a tiff the surgeon or something. There's a name, the Crafty Surgeon. How's that, guys? No, if that any name like that, it it's got to be Martha. She's such a steady. <laughs> right. Got to be Martha. Today? Need to make some more baby wipe, baby wipe flowers. I gotta see that. What? Gear? Okay, I have no idea what he's talking about. Tiffany, you need to translate, Gary. <clears throat> The crab started whining and I had to end the show. I don't know. You're supposed to be I can't translate that one. Okay. Sorry. My translator might be off. Sounds like it. Yes, you do. You need to make lots of videos because... I want to see more of your pretty stuff. Jean made her, I think she said it was her first journal. Yeah. And it, it is freaking spectacular. It is so pretty. Sounds like she found her niche. She did. She's got a lot of them. <laughs> oh, she's like a Martha where anything she touches, oh, burn. Sorry. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> remember, remember humming? I think he's talking about Martha's show, remember? And that horrible sound that caused such a horrible headache. Oh, yes, yes. Me and Amy both got a bad headache from that. So weird. Yep. You know, that's something we should do. We should create a, a YouTube channel to challenge the the uh, I'm skilled at everything crafters and see if we could stomp them into making something really bad. Right? <laughs> yeah. What do you ladies think? Oh, and, and Jen. I think that's a great idea. I don't know about them. This ribbon does not want to cooperate. Is it a stiff kind of ribbon or is it a, a thin kind of ribbon? It's it's thicker for sure. Oh, how'd it go, Martha? Martha. We were talking, eating crabs, and they got nervous. Okay, Gary, you're... Gary, are you medicated today? <laughs> He's never medicated. Are you kidding? <clears throat> I don't think they come straighter than Gary. I didn't say, what? Straight bullet? Okay. Come 
Well, well they, they, I mean, they, like, people that are, like, anti-drug, like, or medication, or whatever they call them, like, straight-edge people, or, or whatever. But he let you know that he was working? He did? Oh, um, Martha was supposed to meet up with the George Clooney guy, and apparently he didn't go because he was working. Oh. But if he actually told you he went working, awesome. Because that means he did want to meet up. Yeah. Real you want to come on, Martha? Do you have two oh. James, Jerry? Just swollen. What'd you do? I'll send Martha a link. Well, make sure you check with Martha, though, because remember she went to the dentist and she might not be feeling up to doing a lot of talking. Well, she doesn't have to come in if she doesn't want to. Just oh. there in case she wants it. Oh, okay. It's, I put it in the, the Martha's Kittens group. What are you, my dear? So I'm making a reborn flower. It consists of the running stitch and simply folding, really. But I'll show you on the bigger one, where it will be much easier for you to see. I just wanted to see if this size of ribbon would work if I used um, a shorter length of ribbon. And so far it seems to be working. Is anyone else crafting right now? Pulls over. Let's see how much this gives me. This ribbon is really. Don't think I'm going to use this one again. Is it because it's too stiff of a material? No, it's not really stiff. It's it's just kind of thick, and you have to go through two layers of it. Oh, okay. I mean, it's stiffer than, I think it's that gross green stuff, but the edges are like satin. Oh, okay. So, yeah, it might be because of the materials. Yeah. Um, I'll, I have to mute you guys one second. Okay. <laughs> Very funny, Gary. Oh, I'm wearing 
this really cool button necklace that I got from a friend. I thought it was really pretty, so. Hi, Arlene. What's going on here, kid? Hi, Arlene. Come on with the. Sorry. You guys are having to listen to all that. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's Facebook. Okay. There's nothing I can do about that one. How are you doing, Arlene? Are you crafting at all? Almost stab myself. Yes, this is one of them, but I'm going to show you how it's done on the bigger ribbon. I just wanted to finish this real quick and see if this this width would work in a flower because I did want to make some smaller ones. So I'm thinking that smaller width means smaller length, so smaller flower. <laughs> Hello, Amy Kins. Hello. Hi, Arlene. The, the Wonder Crafting Book. <laughs> 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 I actually save um sometimes I save my mom's tea pat tea bags because they're fun to you can paint them with watercolors or acrylics or whatever and then you can decoupage them onto stuff and it just looks really cool with that tea stained look and uh yeah, those are fun. You can stamp on them too, which is cool. If you got a permanent ink, you can stamp on them and then decoupage them on the stuff. Well, I've never heard of that. What? Tea bags into ticket bags. Tag pockets. Thank you. Yes. I like ignoring the paperwork on my desk. I love that part. She says. Oh my goodness. Work with me here. Get in there, guys. Oh. 
Well, I can show you how these are made from the beginning. So I already have one prepared that's almost finished. So you're not going to have to watch me do this again. Don't worry. I'm going to switch to some mixed media because I just feel like painting. Hopefully you don't paint your floor. Or <laughs> Hopefully. Let's all hope that. Because I need it. I need it. Here you go, back. Welcome in, girly. Oh, hi, Christine. You know, Christine, yeah. I'm going to figure out how to get you back one day. I may not do it for a few years. <laughs> I might figure it out. She is she in the Martha's Kittens chat? I don't remember. Because there's a link to the panel there if you want to come on, Christine. Christine has a has a voice or, or yeah. She has um. I saw her do it once where she it was just voice. And her, she had an avatar up. Ooh, pulled back too far. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> I have no idea. You know, I don't want to know what that means. <laughs> I said, I said, damn it! I pulled back too far. The second part that I, I don't want to know, but it's, I do and I don't. Oh, it's a joke from a show. Anytime anybody says something that could even possibly in the least bit be misconstrued as perverted, they say, that's what she said. What show said that? The Office. Is the office? I have trouble getting in, and it takes too long. Then, oh, okay, no problem. No problem. Yeah, where's April at? Oh, I think she's probably trying to recover from all the work that she's been doing. That True. April. She has been, yeah. I hope that Cra she has a crafting hangover. <laughs> that is <laughs> it. And a, and a decorating hangover. You know what? I bet you should uh, copyright that. <laughs> You know, Gary, you could actually come in and be on the panel and just turn off your mic and your camera so then everybody could see. Just food for thought, because you don't have to have camera on, you don't have to have the mic on, and you don't have to have either or to be on the panel so that mm -hmm. there are just three people and then finally you guys can see me. Although, judging from my hairdo, I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to see me. <laughs> Your hair's fine. My hair has gone crazy. You're talking to a chick with thick curly hair. Yeah, but your hair goes up into a ponytail. Mine, on the other hand, does not. I think I put Albert Einstein to shame. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, <laughs> I don't think so, but that's funny. I think Einstein would be proud, but <laughs> he's yeah. still number one in that department. <laughs> Okay, I think I've reached the end. This is the last fold. I guess so. I wish it go this way. Yo. Um, more and then cut this. Got you pretty good this time. <laughs> what? Stay away from Velcro. <laughs> you got you good on that one. That's <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, Velcro is dangerous for me. I have a special allergy to Velcro. <laughs> God, look how itty bitty these petals are. Think about having to curl them out. Crap. in there.
That's what she said. Yes. There you go. I'm funny. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see how small uh, the power uh, you can make. Okay, Barbara says, Tiffany, so what are you saying? Is that Velcro or you don't get or you don't get along? I think she's asking if you're allergic or you just don't get along with Velcro. We don't get along. We have a very complicated relationship. Sounds like it. There's <laughs> hair pulling and tugging. Yeah. All kind of rough stuff. Then Gary says, don't go walk under a gumball tree either. Gumball tree. Yeah, because you get gum in your hair. Not if it's a gumball tree. Maybe if it's a chewed gum tree. <laughs> Gary says, we used to throw gumballs at each other in school. That would mean surgery for Tiffany. <laughs> it really would. He's lucky. I love him. You hear me? You lucky. And I'm just chopped liver. Oh, you both lucky. Gumball trees have spikes on them. Oh, oh I didn't know about that about them. But apparently Martha knew exactly what he was talking about and she goes ha 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 and then lol and just dying of laughter. Which is okay. Now that I know that, yeah. <laughs> or we could just leave her in there to feed the tree. <laughs> Thanks guys. Our I feel the love. Said, Arlene says, I have fond memories of gumball wars. Mm. Oh, this is so totally cute. Almost done, hang on. There we go. What do you think? Can you see the detail on that? Oh, I love it. Isn't that adorable? It, it, it looks like a square, too. Like, if you hold it just the right way, it's a square and then a circle. That's so cool. Yeah. That's very cool. You should totally glitter that. Bugger. 
Huh? You should totally uh, Mod Podge glitter that. Sparkle Podge? Mm-hmm. It's funny, it kind of looks blue on screen. Yeah, it does a little bit. But it's like a, it's a very rich purple. He heard if you get hit, but I was quicker than my brother, so he got hit a lot more than I did. <laughs> Arlene. <laughs> I have had problems with my hair. All I have to so you don't let long hair get close to bicycle chain. Ooh. Ouch. That sounds painful, Barbo. Oh my god. Yeah, I bet that. Wow. Yeah, that sucks. All right, this is the, I don't know what kind of thread this is exactly, but it's thread that I'm using for this. Whatever it is. Probably just cotton and polyester. Double it up, make a knot at the end, or three. <laughs> I'm sad that, that I heard that kitty out there. Don't think about it, huh? It'll just eat you alive. You mean like the kitty? Oh god, you don't do that. <laughs> this is just sad. What? You know what they are, Arlene? They can put, put your eye out. What? Barbara Oliver, my hair gets into craft paint fairly often. <laughs> you know, it's not the strange thing about being selling on eBay, Gary. It's the fact that people buy it. Oh, yeah, because some of the stuff that Tiffany got today was made out of nuts. <laughs> yeah, there was some cool nut jewelry in there. That came out wrong. I got it. Very wrong. I did, yeah. But I still got it. Alright, where's the other piece? Okay, so to begin, this is 1.5 inch. It's double-sided satin ribbon. doesn't have to be, but it looks the same. If you want a uniform look on your rose, you want double-sided. Or the gross green, gross green, whatever it is. Yeah, that stuff. Ribbon. 
looks pretty much the same on both sides. You can use that. Um, so you, to, if you're doing a one and a half inch length, you need 45 inches. And what you do is you, well, you're going to need a needle and thread also. That's why I was saying that I doubled it up. And and you want a good, you probably want to pull off a good maybe yard, yard and a half. Um, you're going to, to start, you're going to take the end of your ribbon and you, you're going to want an angle here. So you just. Excuse me, fold it over. Like this. And cut along the seam right here. Use a lighter to seal it so it doesn't fray on you or else all your stitches can come out. And then you take your needle and thread and you just start at the corner here. And if you have enough knots on the end, you won't need to tie this. And then just do a running stitch where you just go down, up, down, up, down, up, and so forth until you get to the apex of the triangle. And then... You're going to want this part straight for this. Then you're going to fold your ribbon down and towards you like this to make a right angle at the bottom. And then you crease this. Well, if I were looking at it, it would, yeah, there we go. It's kind of hard to do backwards. So, like this. And then you're going to sew up this peak to the top. You're just going to continue the running stitch and then go up here. And then you're going to turn it 90 degrees. You're going to do it again. Continue your running stitch to the point. Turn it 90 degrees. I'll do a little bit more so you can see it. Because I already have one here that I did the most of. So you didn't have to watch me do the whole thing over again. Because I knew I was doing that purple, little purple one. So I'll show you the beginning and I'll show you the end. So this I'm going to fold towards me and down. Continue your running stitch through both layers. Looks like the garter belt. There it says. Hmm. Interesting. And then, so now we have this. So my next step is to fold this down and towards me.
with your string on the right side. Fall down. Fall down. Ooh. Now I'm used to the other stuff. The other stuff you. And then see as you start to gather it, they will start to look more and more like flower petals. So, that's where this guy comes in. This guy's almost done. I think he's got one fold left. But it is gathered up, and to gather it up, all you, all you have to do is all those little running stitches are going to do all the work. You just smoosh it down. Smoosh it. I mean, you don't want it to be too tight, obviously, but... And then you do the same thing at the very end of your thread. I mean thread. At the very end of your ribbon. Like you did in the beginning. Make a little square. I mean square. God, I can't use my words today. Make a triangle. And then just end your running stitch down the edge.
secure your thread I like to do a couple half hitch knots that's just where you go underneath your thread bridge pull up put your needle through the loop that it makes but do that twice and it should come all the way down to where you need it to be knotted all right now I cut this off um, this is where the glue comes in unless you want to continue with um, needle and thread you can absolutely do that too but I start at this side oh yeah I gotta turn all the petals then you want to start at one end and make sure all the petals are facing in one one way so you want them all curved out away from you so that for you it looks like they're cupped but for me, it looks the opposite. Arlene would like to know, are you going to make those and sell them on Etsy? Um, I am definitely going to make some. Um, I haven't, I don't think I have enough of an inventory yet to put them on Etsy, but that's definitely going to happen at some point, yes. To use my fabric pack. Go ahead. Um, Arlene says I could just buy a couple without them being in a large inventory. Those are pretty, but definitely not something I can do one-handed. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Just PM her. Yes. Um, I'm gonna be right back. I need to get some more lace doilies, and they're in the other room. I will. Be okay. Yeah, just, uh, um, I'll send you a message on Facebook, Arlene. Okay, so I just, all I did was put some glue on the back of this end here, and I'm just going to curl it inwards. And kind of roll it up. So you want to roll it the opposite way that your actual petals are going so my petals are cupped towards underneath down but i'm going this way with the roll and you just keep the bottom even every i don't know inch and a half or so i add some glue some fabric tack but you can use hot glue I don't see why not you can use it's really just a preference um, the thing I like about Fabri-Tac is that it, it doesn't have a water base so it's really good for paper and plus I can get it pretty inexpensive at a place in a local place which is awesome because if I had to pay $9 a bottle, I don't think I would be using it. 
not nearly as much anyway that's for sure <laughs> Come on. Work with me, please. Thank you. Hmm. This one kind of looks not quite right. Well, it's pretty on the top, so who cares, right? I don't think that it is possible to, to make an ugly one of these. I don't think that's possible. Even if it doesn't look like a rose, it's still going to be a pretty flower because it's pretty ribbon and... It's just gonna. It's just gonna. It's just gonna. So. It's worth giving it a try. It might seem, it might seem like a lot of work. I'm not going to lie. It can be. But as you get quicker with the running stitch and your needle. Um, you will definitely start doing them faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. Um, Chris, hey, Crystal. Oh, I'm doing great, hon. How are you? Yeah, see that that came out. Great. Thank you. Thank you. So that's how you make that one. I know it's it, a lot of people are like, you know, if they can do fabric flowers with glue. You know, it's that they'll do that. But if, you know, once you mention needle and thread, it's almost like all of a sudden people are that have never used needle and thread before say they can't make that, which is not true at all. Running stitch is very simple. You just need a thread, a knot, and you just need to go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. That's it. That's all you got to do. So. It's, it's just as simple as stitching a signature into a book or something. Um, you know, that's just three holes and you, but people say, oh, I can't sew, so I can't sew in a signature, but really it's more like lacing than sewing. All right. So. 
going to unplug my glue gun because I don't need it. And this doesn't fall over there. Alright, let's get out the good old altered book. Maybe I'll do something in there. And just researching new flooring, trying to not be. Oh, I can completely understand that. We had, um, <laughs> we had the ceiling in the living room fall in. And above the ceiling, above the living room is an attic space. And there's blown um, insulation up there. So we went to get, we, we knew that there was a leak in the roof. So we called the roofing guy to come out and fix it. Well, come to find out, he didn't actually fix the leak. He just patched over it. So everything in the attic was getting just more and more soaking wet and soggy and heavy. And eventually it, the, when we hired the guys to actually do, um, I think they were putting new shingles up and the entire ceiling just collapsed. And, Oh my gosh, if my mom was like three feet more forward, it would have landed right on her. Again, and then we had to, you know, not not just that mess, but then the mess of 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 having to have the entire ceiling replaced and everything gets dust on it. Even everything around your house gets dust on it that isn't anywhere even close to that room because of all the banging around and everything. It's like I can understand, Crystal, that you want to rip your hair out. I totally get it. Been there, definitely. You're ripping your hair out for what? No, I was, <laughs> I was just telling Crystal a story about how my living room ceiling caved in once because they're doing work in her house, and um, she wants to get it put back together and the mess gone, and but she 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 also wants to pick a floor that she's gonna like too. I mean, yeah, you, you're the, you're gonna have to look at this floor for a long time. So, um, so say that. Okay. Huh? Hi, Crystal. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, the, the whole leaking and stuff kind of sounds like what happened to April a little bit. Because I remember her saying that there was a leak, a drip drip, and then all of a sudden it was like a massive portal coming from her kitchen at one point. And then I think one time it, right around a Christmas tree as well. Wow. Yeah. Feels so wow. bad. I just, I'm glad that she's, they're finally able to go buy a home again. That's exciting. I hope they find one with a big craft room so then she can have a huge setup so we can all Google what she does. <laughs> I was thinking of, I don't know, doing something. Here, actually, let me move this so I don't have to paint on it. What if you decorated the cover? Hmm, that sounds like fun, actually. You've got resin pieces you could use, too. Oh, yeah. I got plenty of those. Hmm. Yeah, 
I'll glue some resin pieces on it and then gesso it. And... It's a good idea, Amy. Thank you. I have a few of them. They're not really often, but I do have a few. <laughs> If you don't mind me making a suggestion, do not get super shiny, glossy tile or wood. Because that will show every single scrap in it. Every scratch. Whether it's you trip over your feet and you accidentally stuff the floor, you will see it. All right. So, Amy, did you see the finished product? No, remember I had to go grab some of my doilies on the other room. <gasps> oh, it's so dibs. Oh, my God, I love it. That's so pretty. I don't oh, think my. it would have looked that nice if I put the lace in there. Yeah, I would agree. That's fine. I'll take it. No. <laughs> Amy gets the purple rose. Woo! I, I gotta use the little girl drum and so I'll be right back. Do you mind if I click on you? No, I'm ahead. All right, here's Amy. <laughs> we gotta think of like some kind of opening phrase for you or something when I go, here's Amy. Oh, well, I think nobody can beat your Merkin. <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody can beat that. <laughs> You know, if you keep laughing like you did earlier, you're going to pee yourself. So go to the bathroom, woman. Oh, my God. I know, right? My mom was having me cracking up. Oh, ow, ow. Yes. I say that every time I get up. Yes, I do. No shame in it, girl. Too yeah. naturally uncomfortable. Hey, at least I'm still moving, right? Sort of, yeah. Right, Arlene? Isn't that gorgeous? I have to admit, I might risk making my hands hurt just to make a couple of those flowers. They are so cool looking. So I am working on finishing up my Christmas lace doily tree. And the two things I find the hardest to uh, for my, you know, the trees and stuff is the uh, trunk and the the tippy topper star or whatever should go up there but I it occurred to me that if I get the more gray brown doilies and I put them I could maybe do a, just a simple layering to create the trunk they might actually look pretty cool with this particular tree wait you oh you guys can't even see what I'm looking at right sorry there. That is what I'm working on. And down here, uh, I can't see it without me tipping it over, and I don't want to drop my laptop again. But I was thinking of doing like a uh, you know, where you take, well, sorry. Take one doily and then you take another one and different size and colors and just kind of glue them right into me together. And I was thinking of doing that for the trunk. I do have several of these. I wouldn't say these are ecru because they're not really creamy. They're more like a like a brown. And I think that that would be a pretty good idea for the stump. And since I'm not going to be adding any pearls or glitter, glitter or stuff, I think it'll be pretty cool and it'll look pretty simple and it won't detract from the tree itself either. Coffee dye one to be brown. Yeah, that's a that's a good idea. All right, Barbo, I'll let her know when she comes back. And I hope you feel better because I know you said you were in bed laying around, so. I hope you get better soon. That's a good idea. I mean, it's not really works. Uh, 
have a variety of browns and have a variety of like this. Well, I don't think you guys can really tell, but it's like a mustard tan. I don't know how to describe it other than mustard tan. <laughs> I'm not sure why wax people was in there, but... No problem, Darbo. Anyone have any ideas or suggestions of maybe the next tree I should do? Talk about doing. Good enough if I turn you guys around, right? Sorry. I'm going through my doily bin. Thank goodness, though, that I started this tree because I had a lot bigger bin of lace doilies. I have to admit, though, making lace doilies flowers is super fun. It really is. And it gobbles up a lot of glue. So. <laughs> I enjoy doing it. It's definitely fun and relaxing because you don't have to do, you know, a lot of work. The lace, you just do a straight stitch on the bottom, pull it tight, stitch the ends together, and boom, you got a nice fluffy looking flower like this. So then you just take doily of a you know semi contrast color. I don't know if you guys can see the dark brown behind it, or you could do. Oh, those are huge. Or you could do a white one behind it, like this. And then you just grab a smaller one. And here, what smaller one could I do? Oh, that's too big. Like this little tiny, little tiny one. It's about the size of a half dollar. And you could put it right there in the middle and then add a little half back pearl or a full pearl or rhinestones, whatever your heart, or buttons, whatever your heart desires, and there you go. That's it. Simple. Right back. Got just so on my phone screen. Gotta go clean it. Ooh, yeah. Oh, and Barbara left because she wasn't, or her phone is dying, and I'm pretty sure she's not feeling too hot. Okay. That sucks, she's not feeling good. Why can't? Oh, yeah. yeah it's not like... letting me click on myself. You broke the internet? Oh, there it goes. Yeah, I broke it. For some reason, it wasn't working. 
Yeah, because you can get a lot of oily flowers, Gary. And the best part is they're super simple. And I actually made a, well, I made a paper lace and doily booklet book. But I do know that there are some women who actually make genuine books completely out of them. Wow. I don't have a sewing machine to go to, but it's buried somewhere in somewhere Bill. But uh Somewhere Bill. Well yeah. It's somewhere out in the garage somewhere. The garage is just absolutely full of stuff. <laughs> Let's see. What shall I do? I shall choose some pieces out of here. Oh, still all clicked on you. Oops. Not that I'm doing anything all that exciting. I'm just picking out some. Um, some stuffs. Stuffs. not yet, but I would love to.
first or are you just going to scratch it up a little bit then gesso it? Oh, I'm going to gesso this. Is that what you mean? Yeah, I, I didn't know if you're going to sandpaper a little bit and then gesso it or not. <coughs> um, I wasn't planning on it. Oh, okay. I mean, it's kind of um, scratched up. I guess I could. It wouldn't hurt, right? Yeah, that's a good idea to sand it. What'd you do? Uh, hot glue my finger. Oh no! Ow! Yeah, I'm just you guys want to see the gnarly blister I got today? Trust me, you should say no. <laughs> I'm surprised nobody's mentioned it yet. That's because nobody wants to think or see about how vicious it is. <laughs> pretty. She needs some layers though. These wings. Don't think. Good for you, Arlene. Apparently, all the gesso that's on her phone got off of it. Good. Find one. What do you want to do with your pieces so far? Oh, I'm working on it. I'm trying to see if I'm. Um, oh, here's what one. The there we go. Um, I definitely want this on the spine. This piece with this up top. Uh, 
That's cool. And hopefully, man, I'm pretty sure it's going to, oh yeah, it's going to fit. And then I'm definitely wanting to use the leaves that I made. Um, and I want to use, I want to give her some wings. And I, I, these were the ones I was looking for. So I'm going to take these off. Still, still like it. And then I want to use at least one key, maybe two. And this locket. wings. No, I only have one of those. Wait, I'm going to do this. Book. I think she just took my shoe. You'd think I would remember to put my uh, slippers on the other side of my pile of rubbish. Wow, that actually looks pretty cool. Thank you. I wish I could show it to you without it all falling off. Well, you could just turn it around so at least it's not upside down for all of us. Everybody hold your breath. Mm-hmm. Oh. No. Gonna fall again. Kinda.
Got to move those. All right. Can you see it? So the little uh, baby leaf cherub is holding up the goddess sign? Yes. Cool. I do and she's got the big wings behind her and then, oh, there she goes. These wings behind her head. Right. Behind her little flower fluffs. You mean the Princess Leia bulb? Yeah. Make sure you give the little cherub an extra leaf or two, so. <laughs> Those All right. cherub, their leaves are not very pronounced. <laughs> Will do. And then, yeah, the two round things on the corners. And then the other corners, keys. Just lock it. And then I gotta figure out what I want to do on the back. Well, if you put it on the back, then the book can't be laid down flat, right? Well, it's not really meant to, so... Oh. But then again, um, I'm not done working in it yet, either. That's true. So... Arlene would like to know what adhesive are you using to attach those? 3D matte gel by Finnebear. <laughs> that stuff is amazing. It adheres anything. What are you? Oh, that's all going to be gessoed and painted and stuff. You're welcome. Pretty sure I can remember this. So, like, so, and then I have room to place the leaves around. Do I have to come over there and put you in a straight jacket? Stop hurting yourself. No, no, it's just my spatula is only covers so much room, so when I hold it down and my finger slips, slips. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, it's not fun. <laughs> But I'm not really a true crafter until you burn yourself with your hot glue. I mean, oh, yeah, absolutely. That's one of those initiation rites that we all have to go through. <laughs> right, though? That's funny. Um, why am I looking up there for a paintbrush? I don't know. They're all over here. Oh, yeah, I was looking for my sandpaper. That's what I was looking for. I think it's up there. Oh, I think I'm going to move this. I need to stand up.
cutting up? What? What are you cutting up? Sandpaper. the whole burning yourself with your hot glue gun, but back in the day, your the hot glue back then, they didn't have heat, the temperature control, right? So it must have been wow. bad. Ouch. <laughs> now, they say burns are the worst pain in the world. No, I think it has to be tea. I don't know, burns are pretty bad. Ah, uh, who knows? We all experience so much pain in our life anyways. It could be right. anything. I love this little tiny flower. Whoa, did you hear that? No. What was I, what was I supposed to hear? I don't know, there was a weird noise outside. Did anybody hear that? It's like a screeching noise. Oh my god. I'm scared. <laughs> There's like weird stuff going on out there. Stupid coyotes. Bringing all this trouble up in here. All the coyotes I'm trying to, yeah, that's good. Oops, do I need that? Yes. No, actually. Coyotes mating. Oh, they're creepy. You're kidding, Arlene. Wow. You know the, uh, the hot glue burn gun that she got when she was a kid? She still has it today and uses it every day. Wow. That's pretty cool. That means that that glue gun is meant to last, which is... Right. Like happen now. Yeah, they do not make stuff like that anymore. That's for sure. Gary, did you hear that? I'm, cu I'm really curious. If anybody, I don't think anybody heard it, though. Thank you for giving me a spoon, Mom. 
This is my stuff. My stuff. I see you in. Oh my god. <laughs> mm -hmm. Softy. Whatever, okay? I, I have not fed them yet anything. <laughs> Uh -huh. I haven't. I just got my food. They are thoroughly watching me, though. Oh, yeah. It, oh, hi, Shirley. It's Shirley. We'll hear them more. Oh, that's right. It's a special kind of moon tonight, right? Yes, I see. I'm not going to Oh, okay. You alright over there? Yeah, um, to keep the canvas tarp taut, I use clips. Uh, binder clips. And yeah. sometimes the binder clips are just so, like, tight or... or Whatever that when you squeeze them, they don't go anywhere. They don't release. Right. <sighs> Almost done. Yay. <laughs> Arlene says, maybe the moon is why my neighbors are acting like total nuts. <laughs> you sure that isn't all, all month long? Because I know my neighbors are weird all, all month long. Guys, you know I'm right here. You don't need to play on me. Huh? Is your girlfriend take care of her? Whatever's in their mug. <laughs> exactly. You guys are about two shades away about getting kicked out of here if you don't. <laughs> uh huh. Shut up! <laughs> we shall see about that! Such a booger. Says the dogs. <laughs> That's so Mm -hmm. I see you too. 
Okay, I have an empty coffee. That's a problem. Emergency. 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 I'll let this dry a little bit anyway. I'm gonna take a break. Oh, I can get this shot. I see Amy. Watch the dogs trample Amy. <laughs> I just realized I left my mug in here. <laughs> oh, Rusty. You were saying? They are very cute and they're very affectionate, but I am such a, a softie when it comes to food, people food, and dogs, and the bougie bougie looks that they give you, <laughs> that, yeah, I'm a sucker. To that, she's trying to give me an Eskimo kiss. <laughs> I'm almost done with the tree. Let me see if I can clear off some stuff on the laptop. Can you guys see it? Mm -hmm. I can't really turn the camera or anything, but whatever. I tried. That's what it gets for me. Sorry. Uh, a little bigger there. He's actually a mix. Uh, we got. I found him, and then I turned him into the pound because he was in really bad shape when I found him. And uh, I think they. I think it was said that he was a mix between a. They thought a terrier and a chihuahua of some sort, which I don't think so. And then um, we got the, the dark brown one uh, six months or something ago. And my parents found her from a rescue down in Oregon. So, tips. When I am here, them close out here, I will sound like a bunch of different dogs barking. Easiest is just whistle real loud and we'll move on. We'll play around and cause nothing moving the mouth. So did, so did I, Martha, have these storm clouds blocking you on the first right there? I'm oh, confused. There's no reason for you guys to do this behind me or on me. I'm going to sit up. Push your guys off. Ah, uh, okay.
Don't worry, I'm still here. Just put a mix cream and sugar in. And my cat is trying desperately to get attention. <laughs> I wish I could show you this thing she does. Yes, I know you're cute. I see you. I know. I know. I know. She's fine. Yeah, I'm going to go to the dentist and get him my teeth cleaned. Same damn thing happens to me. And then after a while, you get sick from all the blood from something. That is always good. Let's see, is this dry yet or what? Nope. Let me mute myself so I can dry it. Good night, Martha. Good night, Martha. <laughs> I hope I made it in time. <laughs> <laughs> Just like tissue paper. I think it's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's yeah. not for furniture, but works just fine. Yeah, there isn't much left. This is the first um, texture stuff I've ever bought before I was making it. Oh, you were making your own texture base? Yes. Oh, that's cool. Baby powder, um, white glue, white paint, and then probably just a little bit of water. Or you can do gesso, Mod Podge, and baby powder. I'm not sure of what amounts are what, but I know those are the ingredients. Or you can use crushed marble, which is calcium carbonate. Or you can use um, baking soda, which gives you a grittier 
texture paste than baby powder would. Um, you can, and then you can always color it with mica powders or paints. Jeez. Do you have a preferred uh, texture paper or texture stuff? I love the modeling paste by Finibear. It's like the best I've ever I texture stuff as far as a paste or a medium goes. For sure. Is there a particular reason why you stopped making your own? I just uh, I didn't like the quality of it because it, it would like chip. Oh. And I I wasn't good with that. So I switched. Are you cooked on yourself? No, because I wasn't doing anything, but now I am. Thank you, because I would like to eat some food, so I'm going to turn off. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. I didn't know that. It's okay. Yeah, yippee happen. All right, let's do some flowers. Oh, she says goodnight. Huh? Mark says goodnight. Okay, good. She heard me then. Oh, these are really pretty. I haven't opened these stencils yet until. It's cool. Yeah, this is a Martha Stewart stencil. Oh. Ooh, it's actually not bad quality, actually. Nice plastic. Um. Oh wow. Doesn't that remind you of, oh, what do they call that stuff? Say it uh, in crystals or something. I have no idea what they're talking about. They're Maybe like pre-made stickers that have rhinestones on them. Mm -hmm. And they kind of look like this. Mm -hmm. That's, yeah, that's what, that's what I thought of. When they I saw that. remind me of, um. Uh, rustic primitive art or something. Where they use like old tins and things like that. Yeah. Like, yeah. That reminds me of like the lights and stuff. And then this is the other one. I love that oh, one too. Those are pretty. How thick are those? Um, they're thicker than these, definitely. They're probably double this. So they probably would last a while then. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. And they also don't have, like, a lot of pieces that are jutting out everywhere. Yeah, that's true. But when you go to clean them, excuse me, it's not going to, it's not going to hurt it. Do some. Really cool if you use one of those Martha Stewart ones. Yeah, I've never seen anything like that with the polka dots. Oh, uh, it's pretty cool, neither. I just want to use this flower. And just do it like everywhere. And then use the other flowers, the Hawaiian style ones. 
Yeah. yeah. That was cool. The only problem is how long this stuff takes to dry. Because even when you take a heat gun to it, it takes a while. Wait, you said. That's why you kill Martha and multitask. <laughs> See, this stuff is more like a like a gel almost than a paste. It's like oh, strange. Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna need that much. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Oh, my God, that's freaking awesome. Yeah, and if you put, like, metallic coloring in the modeling case, it'll look like, like, um, what's it called? Bromix. Yeah. Uh, no, studs. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Or, like, yeah, so they were definitely remind me of, like, those those rhinestones and the pearls. Wow. Got a smudge. That's all right. Let me paint over that. It's not a big deal. Or I can. Alright, I'll be right back. I'm gonna get seconds. Okay. Let me get you to the phone up here.
Here's it guys, gonna clean my stencil real quick. Wow, that cleans so easy. Ta-da! Looks like nothing is ever even there. Brand new. Not bad. Sorry, I gotta clean my hands. Alright, now I can read chat for a second. Yay! All right, guys, this is going to take forever to dry, so I think I'm going to end the live stream because I'm already starting to get tired, and I know I will not be awake when it's dry. Where did the cover to this go? Oh, yeah, duh. We left it, of course. So, um, I'll say goodbye to Amy for you, and uh, thanks for coming. Bye, guys. Thank you.